Hi, I'm Rabbi Alon Ferenczi of Heskamuna Synagogue in Knoxville, Tennessee, inviting you to a continuing series of Torah tidbits so you can think ahead to the Shabbat to come. We're reading Parshat Vayeshev, approximately Genesis chapters 37 through 40, the early stories of Joseph and the story of Judah and Tamar. We know this story, of course, from other sources, such as Joseph and the Technicolor green coat, and did you know that it's a major chapter in the Quran? But here we read again, as each year, that Joseph was thrown into a pit by his brothers. It was an empty pit, comma, says the verse, one with no water in it. To which superfluous comment that, of course, an empty pit would have no water. Our sages in Talmud and Midrash, their retelling, sometimes fanciful, of scripture, Note that there was no water, true, but there were scorpions and snakes in it. And through them we later learn that Jacob learned the tricks of snake divination. That he could, through the appearance of animals, become a diviner and a foreteller. That was one of his many sort of wonder-working skills. It's interesting to learn from things that would be normally terrifying. Like the honey badger, we raise ourselves out of fear of scorpions and snakes and persist, sometimes cleaving through those periods of great difficulty, challenge, and dread are what give us the strengths and talents to go on, and the knowledge that we hold all along emerges. We grow stronger, more significant, wiser through, di through diverse challenges a way to live a life. Not easy, but character building experiences, though we may not want to have them, make us who we are. And in adulthood, in maturity, we look back on those difficult times, those times in the pit with scorpions and snakes, and think of all we have learned in a life well lived. May you have a life well lived. Shabbat Shalom. When you enjoy talks like this and others, please do like, share, and subscribe to Eclectic Cleric, as one word, on YouTube.